This is an instructional video detailing the applications and function of the Phase 2 90475 Auto Z-Axis Twin Hardness Tester. The 90475 hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Rockwell hardness method via a closed loop load cell driven control. This replaces the older weight loaded system where the testing performance is not as consistent or accurate compared to the current load cell system. The automatic Z-axis allows for a single button push test without any operator influence, reducing user error during tests. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. The maximum workpiece height is about 300 millimeters or 12 inches, and the maximum workpiece depth is about 200 millimeters or about eight inches. The most prominent feature of this model is the dynamic indenter head and large work area. This design allows for large pieces to be mounted to the table and tested in an automated fashion. A standard design machine where the table moves to the indenter makes testing large or heavy parts challenging or outright impossible due to sheer size and or weight. The touchscreen controller is externally mounted and can be adjusted for ease of viewing. To begin, after powering on the machine, there will be a brief startup sequence where the indenter head will move away from the work surface. The first test parameter screen will be displayed along with navigation buttons along the bottom for the rest of the features of the machine. In this menu, the parameters for your specific sample or range of tests may be set. These details include the name of the operator, the part or sample identifier, the scale at which the operator is testing in, test duration, tables for converting to other scales based on material and standard commission, tolerance parameters for go no go, and convex correction based on the radius. After entering in your desired settings, it is recommended to press the fifth icon for device settings to set your maximum test number size. This number will determine the batch size for the autosave functionality of the machine. To start testing, begin by affixing your test block on the anvil, making sure to use the joystick to move the indenter head to allow for clearance between the indenter and the sample. Note that if a part is particularly large, it may be mounted directly onto the work area. The test is initiated by pressing the start button either on the side of the machine or under the second test run menu. The tester will handle the rest of the testing procedure on its own, moving the indenter head from any height above the part to complete the test. Throughout the test period, the test run menu will allow the operator to view what forces are being exerted on the part. Following the completion of a test, the third previous run menu will be displayed. Results will be automatically generated with a review of the testing parameters set for the test. These results will include the selected scale, converted value, as well as the raw depth differential. If a go-no-go -go range was set, then that would be shown as a pass-fail icon below the results. The fourth icon will open the machine's data storage menu. In this menu, the results from the prior test will be shown along with their respective controls. From this menu, individual data points can be selected and added to a batch manually for sorting. Otherwise, the machine will do so automatically based on the maximum test number size under settings. Additionally, data points can be output via printer from this menu. Any batches can be manually reviewed by selecting the secondary submenu under this menu. The fifth icon will open the machine's settings menu. This menu allows for control of the maximum test number size for batch control, as well as both serial port and Bluetooth configuration. Please refer to the owner's manual for further instructions on the appropriate settings for each use case. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 90475 Auto Z-Axis Twin Hardness Tester.